Dude, don't no, don't no, 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 no. St don't try to get me in your good side, bro. This is this is not. This is okay, okay, war. you know, okay, what? Well, okay, you know what? I won't get you on my good side. You're tall, sir. Who is right about the Tory verdict? <laughs> okay, all right, dude. Nothing Who's, was proven who, in who, the court of law. Who, who, okay, you know, so, someone so, posted so, a picture. So, so now, so, I, so now I, I'm on, so now I'm on your bad side. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm on oh, your bad oh, side oh, enough. I, I, I need to get this point off, bro. Okay, get get the point off. Somebody posted a picture. And I don't want to mess up. I don't know. I forgot who it was. It was a rapper got shot in the foot. Okay. You know, it was on new. It was on Twitter. Okay. Uh, and within the last few days. Okay. Who was it? Oh, Fulia. Okay. Did you see that picture or no? I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not up on this story. So you you got to tell me. Okay. A, a rapper named Fulio got shot in the foot. Okay. Right? If you saw that picture, he's got a hole in his foot, bro. Where is the hole? No, no, no. Where is the hole in her foot? She's fucking running around twerking, doing all kinds of moves that if you tried to do, you would fucking dislocate shit. All right? Now what, bro? Is, is that it? Is, is, that, is, that all, is that all you have? Is that, is that all that's that you all have? That's all I want to say. That. I really don't care. I don't, that's, okay. That's all, all right. I want to say about that. Okay. That's, it's, fine. It's fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. I mean, you know, look, look I'll, I'll say this. If, exactly, Meg's foot is fine. I'll, I thank you. All right, go I'll, ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. If yeah, yeah. if only you were Tory's lawyer there in the courtroom, you know, he he would he would have got off scot free. Is 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 what would have happened? You know, if, if if only you were there. You know, I know you're. I know you're trying to make a joke here, but low key. <laughs> You are you are you sure? Are you saying that just to be coy? Are you sure I'm making a joke here? I might I might not be. All right, now you're yeah, now you're doing some weird mind shit. I don't, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this album. Okay, yeah, let's go. You know, I, I I heard you talking before before I got on, and look, I I will say, obviously, our standards for Drake differ, but I I won't disagree with the general assessment that this may in fact be like like a top four Drake record, but. Okay, so you gave nothing was the same, the exact same rating of five. I, I, I suppose and I did, but in the general Drake pantheon, that that's a highly uh -huh. regarded album, and and Take Care is probably taken a bit more seriously, and and you know, uh, and, and, uh, and, you, and which you gave that a six, which gave you that also a gave Walsh a six. And hey, so you're you're playing one of my favorite songs classic. off of you're playing one of my favorite tracks off of uh, if you're reading this before I came on too. Yeah, no, and that's another one. So my point is this. You gave classic Drake albums. I think everyone here watching, and I don't care if it's on YouTube or if it's on stream right now, anyone here watching, I don't think we can argue that nothing was the same in Take Care or not some of his best albums. People all, everyone, every Drake fan, even if you're not a Drake fan, you at least say, you know what? Nothing was the same, Take Care. Those are top tier Drake well, albums. I, look, I'll say this. Take Care has grown on me since I originally reviewed it. Uh, the the only thing I'm trying to say is uh, like you know he, here's the thing with Drake in regards to me I think my scores ebb and flow along the same kind of trajectory that a lot of people do just with me you need a little bit of a handicap you know when it's a Fantano score and it's a Drake review you you add three you know I I, th I think I think I think you're at, you know if you're a Drake fan just take whatever score I've done for a Drake record you add three so what you're telling me is this. You're telling me that you <laughs> subtract points because it's Drake. That's no, no, I don't. I don't subtract. I'm, I, don't, I don't subtract. No, I'm not telling you I subtract points because it's Drake. I'm telling you you should add points because it's Drake when it comes to one of my reviews because I think I generally. What the fuck am I hearing? I think I think I don't what? enjoy Drake as much as a lot of Drake fans do because there are certain things he does or he says that you know across all of his projects that for me are just non-starters are just a huge turnoff and maybe for drake fans either that stuff you guys might like or maybe you look past it or it doesn't factor as much for you is what i'm saying no because all i heard was you say yeah no dude whatever my score is it's yeah. really at three that's really no no i'm not saying is. no i'm not saying it's really at three because this is all this is all fucking subjective opinion it is. It is. It's but not. Then, it's not. It's not. It's not really at, at any score for anybody. There's no objective score of a Drake record. 
Okay, let's no, get that out of the second. way. There's no objective hold score of a Drake second, record. No. There's no there's no if objective score of any record. Opinions, yeah. And then there is you just spewing utter nonsense once again, which I get it. You're literally getting paid to do it. I would do the same thing. You are get you are making money spewing nonsense. Are you telling? Are you wait wait, wait 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 wait? You're you're telling you're telling me I would do the same thing as if that's not what you do. Is that not what you do? That's what I'm doing. I don't review music. You no no you, you said you said you said spewing you said spew, you you didn't say reviewing music. You said spewing bullshit. Is that what you said? Okay, dude. If you want to hold that Tory thing over my head forever, fine, bro. No no I I, 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 I was I was saying that you spew bullshit on other topics probably. Okay, so probably you have no evidence. I have evidence. I, watch <laughs> I, I only don't have evidence because I, I I don't watch enough of your streams. That's that's all. If I and watched more of your insulting. streams, I would have more evidence. Now now it's went from insulting Drake to now you're insulting me. It has nothing what, has what nothing do to do enjoy? with insulting you. I just it's it's just not my content preference. That's all. Okay, so you don't watch me. You don't listen to Drake. I want to know what you do in your free time. I do listen to Drake. I have to listen to Drake. I review him. No, you don't. Don't. What do you? You don't listen to Drake, bro. I do listen to Drake. Okay, what do you what do you okay, listen, what's listen, your listen, 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 listen. I may not I may not I may I may not Drake and drive, but I listen to Drake. Okay. I, I love some. If you're reading this is too late. That was my favorite Drake project. I just I just taught I just re-reviewed that project uh, on my TikTok page and I had to listen to it again. I thought it was great. I'm glad I'm glad that you brought up Drake and Drive because guess what? What? For all the dogs might yeah. be a top two Drake and Drive album, bro. Okay. <laughs> I've already listened to it front and back four times okay. in the car. I, I took it at night. I took it during the day. And did you end up at your ex's house? I did. <laughs> but she, the, but we're the, not together, but she was my ex at some well, point. Well, yeah, yeah. But the restraining order kept you from going in the house, right? Well, that's okay. That's <laughs> unnecessary. But <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's no, no, no. What I'm saying is, you want to talk about? I love how it's become a big joke. This drink and drive thing. This is an international uh, uh, thing that people do. I, I know that you didn't hear about it, but this yeah, is yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll admit you exposed me to it. You, 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 you turned me on to that. No, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah. So, so are we are we going to talk about the material on this record or not? Are we going to talk about what's on the album? You know, I, I'm waiting. Yeah, I want you to start. I want you to go ahead. Okay. I mean, okay. Let's let's start with uh, the opener, Virginia Beach. You were just playing that a few minutes ago. Uh, you know, I'll say you already know from the review if you were paying attention. But personally, love that track. I think it's a great opener. Yeah, yeah. I and, think it's a top tier Drake intro. Um, I think it's it. Uh, I almost get like a. I personally, when I hear it, I get kind of a, like a sadness vibe too. Like it's not, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like Drake's a little upset. It sounds like he said, um, yeah, I mean, which it's, it's it would a, make sense. It's a moody track, but you know, one thing I'll yeah, say about it is like the, the, the thing about, it I love about this track is it does not. It does and, not. and this is the issue that I had with honestly, never mind. It does not yeah. sound like he's just improvising or trying to riff his way through this track like there are actually catchy melodies on this song that it sounds like he worked on and that lean that lean into me like little refrain is is solid and it's catchy instantly it's i, I bet you remember it i bet if i i bet if i asked you to sing that part you'd sing it oh dude i can sing a lot of this I can sing uh, well, a lot well of that's this that's, here, that's 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 good that's good that's that's a sign that the records a that's a sign that the record's one. catchy that you actually remember the melodies when you turn it off and that you could yeah. sing them. That's what? honestly never mind. You I the we I, I remember we talked about this. Has your opinion honestly never mind changed at all? I, I have I have not gone back to it, honestly. I've had no interest. Oh my god. No See, interest in going back I to mean, it. Bro. I have gone that I have gone back to numerous tracks on her loss, though. I love I love well, Rich yeah. Flex. Yeah, I think from what I'm gathering then is you you don't like when Drake is in his feelings. You there, more so well, like Drake we'll, rapping. We'll get into and, that. We'll get into that yeah. because there are numerous tracks on this thing where he's in his feelings, and I love it. Okay. Okay. And and he's in this. What? He's in his feelings on this intro, and I love it. Okay. Okay. So okay. Uh, what what about um? 
What about the next song? Amen. I love that one too. Do you do you have you gone have you looked up into Tizo Touchdown's music at all? Because Drake Drake's, Drake's been in, to, endorsing uh, him and supporting him. Have have you gone into his stuff at all? I listened to to his his recent album. I my favorite song on there. Anyone who's heard it, I love the song Neighborhood. I love what he does in that song. I don't know if you've heard this. Neighborhood's great. I, I've I've heard the whole record and I I think the yeah, record's oh, really good. Heard, okay. I like that He's record cool. a lot. I like mood swings and I love that um that uh uh track where it's it's just kind of like the sex anthem that that track's yeah, pretty funny yeah 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 no he's very talented he's i guess he's um someone was telling me about him i guess he's kind of like underrated like he's been trying to he's been doing this for a while but he, he's never really got mainstream or i don't know i i but he's really talented it sounds like I yeah, mean, no, for sure. And, and like, you know, that track's a little short, but I like Tizo's contributions to it. I like the gospel touches and the instrumental. And I think Drake's rapping on it is solid. I wish there was a little bit more to it, but I think it's a good track. I think it's a good one. Yeah. All right. So, okay. so, so let's talk about calling for you. Now I, I got to ask you, you actually like this track. So if we're ignoring the the middle part, the, the yeah, well, I mean, you can't fucking right. ignore because it it's like the longest part, is it not? It, it it is, but I'm gonna say this, okay? Okay. If any other artist, if Kendrick Lamar had this exact thing thrown into the middle of a song, you'd be sitting in front of the camera shamelessly saying this was genius. This artistic style, I love this. Wait, take. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leapfrog I'm gonna leapfrog. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna leapfrog what you said here. I'm gonna leapfrog what you said here, and I'm gonna say okay. Kendrick has done even weirder fucking shit than this. On a, Kendrick literally has a song where they're fucking arguing for five minutes. I know. <laughs> so it's like that's even and weirder that than this up. to me. This isn't weird. It's just pointless. There's no, there's not even like there's not even a message or or a reason for it. Well, so like, it's like so so it's 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 it, never mind the fact that it's like not catchy and it's a little odd or it's kind of out there or whatever. Kendrick's done weirder shit. Like it's it's not it's not it's not it's not even that it's weird or that it's not catchy or that it's not whatever. It's not anything. It's just yeah. pointless. No, no, but this is okay. Let me uh, let me. I'm gonna try to give you think about this in this perspective for a second. Like open your mind to this for one second. All right. Okay. Okay. If you really paid attention to this album, and like I said, I've listened to it 10 times front and back, right? Right. If you really listen to this, what Drake is talking about, and I don't know if it's one girl or a series of girls, I don't know. Might be a but couple. But he's talking about, especially in the Bahamas thing, oh, you right. ruined my Bahamas trip, this. Right. What Haley, he's man, Haley. In this. What'd you, what? Haley. Haley's the one who fucked up the Bahamas yeah, trip. Haley, yeah. What, what, what he's basically what I think that that part is, is just showing like an ungrateful girl or a girl who's like, you know, whatever, like the, the, the girl who he's describing in other songs too, like that's her, in my opinion, like that kind of how he, she, I mean, listen to what she's saying in the thing. You yeah, might no, no, like, for, oh, for sure. She's sense. conceited and she seems like a little ungrateful, uh, you know, to sort of, uh, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to eat this again. And, that, you know, it's complaining. It's annoying. But the thing is, like. She's complaining that they're on coach. She's complaining sure, that they have sure, a chef. Sure. Giving but, them this. Oh, you're, you're mad about that. No, it's it's yeah. it's true. But here's the thing. It's like, I can't really imagine Drake around any other girl. You well, know? That, like, because because, because I, feel, I feel like any other girl wouldn't be a point of inspiration for him to write about. Like, if he was just in a normal relationship with somebody who wasn't like that. Like, you know. And 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 right, I, feel, I, feel, this. Do you I feel, think I feel like this is the same exact kind of woman to? that he writes about all the time. But my but my thing is, I feel like maybe that's what they turn out to be, though, bro. Like you don't like. I feel so, like so, maybe so, he so, has so they tried to they start they there. start good, but then they turn into that. Who knows, bro? You never people's true. You know, like when a girl is for, when you first talking to a girl, you don't see all the red flags. Sure. You don't see all this shit. Sure. I'm telling you, I think a lot of the girls he deals with end up being the same, you know, kind of girls, bro. And I, I don't even think it's his fault, bro. People are like, oh, why is he talking to 25 year olds? Why is he talking? What do you want Drake to do? Go find a 40 year old? What the fuck do you want Drake to do? He's Drake. I mean, I, well, well, listen, I, I don't care personally if Drake is dating someone who's, I, I don't, you know, as long as they're of legal age and it's consensual or whatever. But I mean, you know, they're, they're, if you're looking 
See, see, I, I, I guess here's the thing. If Drake, if Drake's prime points of like complaint or unhappiness with these women who he's dating is that they complain and they're in their phones all the time and they're mature and they're immature and they're ungrateful and they're this and they're that and they don't appreciate anything. I mean, those are all kind of hallmarks of not really having that much experience or perspective. So, I mean, you know, in, in that sense, yeah, maybe, maybe he should you know, date somebody who's 40. And again, not because it's inherently wrong to date people who are 25, but if he's constantly dealing with what he sees are these problems, you know, that are coming up again and again and again, that might come with a lack of experience or, you know, sort of like appreciativeness, maybe he should date somebody who has more experience. Oh, but but we don't know who he's dude. You don't know who he's dating. I don't know who he's dating. Uh, I, listen, he I wasn't. I was. You're, you're the one that brought up the 25 thing. I'm not years. making a claim on who he's dating. I don't know who he's dating. I didn't say I did. I think my point is that a lot of these songs can apply to different girls. Like it, it's not even about just one exact girl. I don't know. Yeah. I think that. Uh, I don't know, dude. Would you if 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 Leonardo DiCaprio is doing this shit? I feel like nobody has a problem with that. But no, I, 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 I think it's kind of weird when he are. does it too, but I mean, you know, and, and look, and, and not to say that it's like, again, I don't, I don't think it's inherently wrong. I, I guess here's the thing. Um, mm. I, 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 I guess, I guess here's my thing with like, you know, that sort of age gap. Uh, I don't think it's an inherently wrong thing, but some people are attracted to that age gap because especially if you're like a celebrity or something like that, uh, maybe you're attracted to the power dynamic there. You know what I mean? You're looking for somebody who you can wow with your money and you're this and you're that. And the thing is like, if, if, if you're, if you're bringing in people mm -hmm. and you're attracting them on those sort of like, you know, um, the word I want to say is like, um, on those expectations and, and you're kind of like, you know, setting the groundwork in that way, like things are probably going to go bad, you know, Th things, thing are pro thing th world? things are probably going to go awry. You know, you're going to, you're going to be with somebody who's with you for your money and your status. And that's not, you know, that's, that's not conducive to a good long-term relationship. So what girl then, cause 99.9% .9 of girls will be wowed by the money and whatever Drake has to offer. They will be bro. That's not normal. So like, who, yeah, but who the, should but he, who the, should but he the be with? Like, like, but the thing is, there there are independent women out there who are maybe they own their own house and they make a salary and maybe they're successful in the entertainment or the business industry or whatever. You know, like Drake probably has access to untold amounts of women that you or I could only ever dream of. Like for sure, he he can date people who aren't. There's, there's levels to this shit. Even if they're a millionaire girl. Yeah. What Drake has is uh, surpasses that shit, bro. So what I'm saying is, I think the argument that I'm saying is that any girl could, this could happen with any girl. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying with this. Oh, okay. okay. L listen, like th there are women out there who, is, who aren't wowed by celebrity. Like, and, and listen, I've, 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 I've talked, I talked with women about Drake. I've, I've yeah. dated women who, you know, who look at what I do and see that I have a lot of attention on what, on what I do. Uh, uh -huh. not all women are obsessed with celebrity or find Drake impressive because he's famous and rich and so on and so forth. So, but, but, but my point is like some, some guys are attracted to, or are addicted to creating relationships like that because it allows them to just kind of like skate through it. They don't have to like put in effort, do this, do that, do the other thing, because the fame does the work. The attraction to the money does the work. The, what I can provide for you does the work instead. This, do you know what it, this is what it is. Drake's perspective is different. This is no offense to you. You just said you did it. This is his perspective is different than you, me, any, anybody. Sure. It's a very unique perspective because sure. there's no way that Drake or anyone who's at that level, any, anyone who's that you know, could know if someone genuinely fucks with them or not, can uh, find somebody who's not going to care about that. Because every girl, no matter what, in some degree will care about that you have a billion dollars or you fucking have this, this, this. So it's like you're, you're trying to relate to it or people are trying to relate to shit that you can't even relate to because it's 
it's some shit that just he's dealing with. I'm sure like the fucking weekend could relate to it or like someone else that high celebrity, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but we don't really know what that feels like. No, no one really knows what that's like. Cause you can, even if you found a girl who's a normal girl, doesn't care about that. She'll, she'll be like, Oh wait, you're Drake though. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, look. Maybe um, I'm, let, let's let's let, let's go back to the music because I I, th I think we're, we're, getting we're, off we're topic. yeah we're getting we're getting out. Look, listen. I I get your point that yeah. this you know and listen. Yeah. I I understand the themes of the record and the type of relationship that he's describing throughout the album. You know. Yeah. Um. But I I feel like throwing that section in there for as long as it lasts and on top of it with 21 savage not really reinforcing it all that well I, I i just think it's you know it's it's one of those examples of what i've said earlier that you have contended with on previous conversations that we've had like this sometimes drake gives us a track that is not actually a fucking song it's like three separate ideas that he just pieces together and then he just says it's a song you know and I, I just don't think it's cohesive. It's not well put together. It's like, again, it's like, it's like a, a jigsaw puzzle that he's just sort of forced together. Dude, I, I just, we'll move, we'll move on to the next song. But you literally, this is like probably the third time I've caught this where you just randomly will just call a song, not a song. You, you've done this with many Drake songs. You're like, dude, that's not a song. How are you just going to say something's not a song? Like, come on, little... man, Com compare it to Virginia Beach and Amen. There's like a vast difference between those two tracks, how well they flow together, how cohesive they are, how focused they are musically and thematically, and whatever the fuck that thing is. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And, Listen, and, and, and even my... the next two tracks, yeah. too. Which I mean, Next you know, okay. So, so, so let, let me ask you about this generally before we get into either of the tracks. What do okay. you think about Drake trying this kind of rage sound, this playboy Cardi type sort of sound? Like what, what were you, what were your feelings on that? When I first heard it, I was kind of like shocked. I was like, Oh shit. I didn't ever think that Drake would do that. Um, but the more, the more I heard it, especially daylight, especially I don't give a fuck. Um, and the second half of fear of heights, the more I hear that, the more I kind of like it, and I and I and it's like a different style, but it's the same shit. At, uh, um, if you're reading this too late, the shit that you like, right? Of him, like, you know, rapping kind of like, um, uh, really confident or like really like, um, I, 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 I'm 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 forgetting the word, but. Um, I, I like when Drake's like aggressive. That's what it is. Aggre I like when he's like aggressive on an out on a, on a song where it's not just him. Just, you know, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I thought both those tracks hit hard. I thought he did really well on that sound with that vibe. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, uh, what people know him for, but I feel like he, you know, came through and brought like a quiet sort of, you know, aggression to it that worked you know i, I was kind of surprised at how much that, that he that he went for it and then went for it again <clears throat> on another song you know i think you could argue like with there being so many tracks on the record did he need to do it twice did he need to do it again with Yeet? we'll talk about that track in a little bit but like you know for the most part i think he did pretty good on these tracks he complimented the so sound with, with that, that style you think that daylight was that kind of style the the, like, the Playboy Cardi vibe sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Like he 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 dug into that shit twice with with that track too. No, I gotta keep. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the the end of Fear of Heights was, and I don't give a fuck. But even in that, I don't know. Um, Daylight Daylight is kind of like uh, mm, what's that song on Scorpion? Um, it's like one of the first songs. I don't know, but. No, I anyway. mean, again, with the bright synths and the very, in the, in, you know, in the repetitive beat on there and, and kind of, you know, again, like with those refrains of like, shout him in daylight, like to me. Yeah, I think it's like a nonstop. I think it's like this album's nonstop. Really? I think, I don't, I don't see a Playboy Cardi in that song. I mean, I don't know. I just see that style, but again, like my mic sounds like it's pooping. The it's, fuck it's does that mean? It sounds fine to me. I don't know why it would sound different to everybody else. Anyway, okay. 
Well, you know, either way, I mean, regardless of where we think about where, where we think that's coming from, I like both those tracks. You know, they they scratched yeah. a similar itch for me. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, so you didn't you didn't hear the tracks and like some other people I saw on Twitter saying, oh, Drake like is you know trying to sound young or like these other things. Like, I think he's just doing like a st- like a style that's popular today, but. Well, yeah, which which I mean on dumb, every yeah. record he always does. And you know, honestly on on a lot of albums where he does that shit, I don't think, you know, sometimes he succeeds, sometimes he doesn't. Um and and I don't really have an issue generally with him going for whatever the hell you would call is like you know, a a, a young a young sound or something because like for how many years has Drake and Drake sound like influenced the youth, you know? Um, and, and at this point, like Drake has influenced either directly or indirectly this entire generation of rappers is coming up now, you know, he's just like reaping the benefits of that in a sense, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, sort, it's sort of like influence these people. It's sort of like why you wouldn't be surprised when, you know, Kid Cudi turns around and collaborates with Travis Scott, you know, Travis Scott loves Kid Cudi and is hugely influenced by Kid Cudi's music and Kid Cudi's just like embracing that. And Drake is just embracing the fact that like, there's so much about his sound from the start of his career to now. Okay, hold, hold, that hold, is, hold that up is now the mic is like really going crazy. Just give me. Okay. I don't uh, chat. What is this pop sh- poop noise, bro? Is it me or him? Yeah, now I'm like hearing it a lot. His mic is set to webcam. Wait, I think you have to change your mic in Discord. Me? Because I think it sounds good on your stream, but like in at the actual Discord. In the actual Discord, it sucks. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, built I don't in. know. I don't Micro know. That's just. Phone. Okay, what about this? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, Yo. hello. Can you hear me? Fuck, that's worse. Okay. Wait, wait, input device. Uh, what the fuck? Hello, hello, hello. Is this worse? This better? Worse. That's worse. Just go back to the original. I, I don't care about the... I okay. don't care about the little Hey, songs. hi, hi, hello, sorry. That's just muted. This is muted now? Okay, no, you're good. Okay. That's a... <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Can uh, you see, look at my stream and like just look at it real quick? Okay, look at your stream? Yeah. Do you want me to play the audio from it? Yeah. Just listen to what I'm hearing. you want to play the audio from it? Yeah. yeah. Just okay. Listen to what- that's, yeah, that's weird. Um... Yeah, it's like it's like the built-in it's like the built-in microphone from my computer over here. I don't know what the fuck is going on with it. Yeah, like whatever you're doing there just made it like crazy, sound crazy. So I think that's what it is. Okay. Uh 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 hello, hello. Oh, is this is this better? Ha ha hello, hello. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Sorry you're good. That. Sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry about that. I just, I just like moved some shit around. Sorry about that. Okay, you're good. Okay, cool, cool. Little, little intermission, like, um, like calling for you, but it's fine. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, yeah. So you were talking about, you were talking about the Cardi shit. Okay. Um. No, I, 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 I think you know, I think it's um, the, the, in a lot of ways, this goes back to the Joe Budden thing that we've been kind of talking about or not talking about but like the internet has been talking about which i don't know if you've sort of followed that very closely um i mean i heard it i heard it but yeah i mean i'm not really surprised about the idea of drake collaborating with younger artists and embracing younger sounds because the thing is like what the fuck else is he supposed to do like you know the options are like is he supposed to just stagnate forever and not try anything new ever Number one, obviously that's a dumb idea and that shouldn't happen. And the thing is like the idea of embracing older sounds or older artists or his contemporaries doesn't 
really make sense either because like a lot of the dudes who are around his age or older when he was coming up fucking hated him and gave him shit and hated everything that he did and everything that he tried and thought he represented like, you know, the death of hip hop and blah, 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 blah. So it's like, why the fuck would he turn around and, and collaborate with Joe Budden or any dude that kind of brings that sort of vibe or brings that sort of sound? Not only is that not the kind of thing I think his audience is looking for, but like that section of hip hop long ago completely rejected him and did everything that it could to prevent him from moving forward and advancing. So it's and also like, 95% of those people are not relevant today. Sure. Like, yeah, no, so he, 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 like, out, he outlasted them, you know? So it's like, uh, you know, even though maybe to some guy like Joe Budden, it looks weird for him to be collaborating with Yeet, uh, you know, which again, we'll talk about in a few minutes, but like, uh, to me, that makes total sense. He's just trying to stay on top of what's, of what's new. I'm glad that you're not shitting on that because I was gonna have a real problem because I know that you've said you you don't you, you want to see Drake try to expand do other stuff so I'm glad that you don't have a problem with that but I feel like when you rate an album so low it 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 like lets it's it's almost like you are saying something like that. Well, um, we well we have we haven't gotten to my least favorite parts of the record yet. So let's you know I I, I will say this: this Drake album is especially front loaded for me personally. Like I think all my favorite moments really kind of come up in the first half. There there are a couple tracks in the second half I like, but okay. like you know I I think I think a lot of my favorite moments really all kind of crop up in the first half. Um, so maybe it sounds like I'm being super positive off the bat here, but. Um, you know, uh, uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll get into the things I don't like sooner than later. Um, okay. But, uh, but you know, look, I, I think, I think it's cool that Drake, sometimes he tries out a new sound and he doesn't hit with it. Sometimes he tries out a new sound and he does. I think in this case, he, you know, for the most part he did, um, you know, I, I just, uh, but you know, b- before we sort of like top off the talk on that because obviously there's also i don't give a fuck so you know we're going to be coming back to this in a second but Mm -hmm. uh, you decided to kind of sequence this album in such a way where he kind of gave you these two tracks with a similar vibe then he gets the first person shooter which i'm I'm guessing you loved that track right um i do i i i i like it i like it a lot it's not my favorite track though i know a lot of people are saying this is the best song to me it's not the best song of the album but i do like it and i think it's like a cool you know, J. Cole and Drake having a song together. If you've been following them since they started their careers, I think they have like one song that was like like 10 plus years ago. Yeah. So it's cool to see them both make a song together. It's cool. I like it. Did, you know, did, did you like that they were, you know, on, on, on this track, I feel like Drake was actually doing what a lot of people sort of like are constantly up his ass to do it's like you gotta rap bro you gotta start rapping man and you know i I feel like he he gave us that with this with this track yeah and and and, you you like the track yeah no i like the track i think the track is great i thought he had good chemistry with cole i thought cole's lyrics kind of felt like victory lap considering how far they've both come since like you were saying, since the last time they did a song together. Um, yeah. You know, I, I thought a lot of bars, a lot of Drake's bars were very braggadocious, but funny too. I thought Drake was funny on the track in a good way. And um, yeah, I, and, and I think they picked a great beat for it too. I just thought it had big energy, big dick energy, and it went well. Um, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't understand. And we're talking about the Joe Budden shit again. I don't understand the criticism on that too. He's like, he almost was like, don't let Jake Cole in your song because he's like, I don't know if you heard that part, but he said like, um, he, sh- he shouldn't have done that because Jake Cole, I don't know. I don't know. I-, I-, I don't understand why Joe Budden is like hating on everything, but whatever, dude. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I, I don't take the good and you, you, you know, I'm fairly critical of Drake, obviously, you know, but like, I don't take Joe Budden's opinion on it too seriously because i feel like his whole basis for it kind of started off with like a lie and that lie being that like man there was a time when drake was rapping for the rappers which like never happened never happened there was never a point in drake's career where he was like desperate for the validation of like 
Joe Budden to the point where he was like changing the way his music sounded. You know, there were yeah. definitely pockets of his career where he was not happy with the fact that like, you know, this sector of hip hop was giving him so much shit, you know, but he, but never at any point was he like, was he like, well, I'm going to change up my whole sound just to make these guys like my music. You know, he never did that. Then, and there was never a point where like all these dudes like Joe Budden were like huge fans of him and were like, yeah, this guy's amazing. This guy's awesome. Oh no, what happened? He used to be so, so lyrical. Oh no. You know, it's like, so he's, he's kind of, he's kind of starting off his whole critique with like a description of a point in history that never occurred, you know? And, so and it's people and people, um, some people don't know that this dude, Joe Budden, this Drake, like he made this track. Yeah. He's yeah. He's him and Drake have had tension for years. So for him to sort of like start this story and act like, yeah, there was a time when I really loved his music or loved this or love that doesn't quite make sense either. Exactly, bro. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. Hey, listen, you know, I'll, I, I'll be, I'll be consistent. If it, listen, uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to tell you when I hated and not hated on Drake in the past. Okay. And then you can go back and check the review and see that it's accurate. All right. So <laughs> dude, dude. at least, you, you know, at, at, least, at least, at least I'm consistent. At least points. I'm consistent. <laughs> I remember the past with accuracy. <laughs> dude. Oh my God. What? Just. <laughs> You know what, bro? Why couldn't you just rate the Drake the? Co all right, all right, all right. Classic, stop, stop, dude, stop, 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 stop getting so fucking, fucking, fucking horned up over the number. Bro. Listen, here, here's it, here's the question I want to ask you. Here's the question I want to ask you. I remember the last time we talked, or maybe it was like the time before that. Uh, you were very kind of meh and not impressed with uh, Yeet as an artist. Uh, and and I remember your chat was like really getting up your ass about listening to Yeet. You gotta listen to Yeet. You gotta try out Yeet. And da 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 da. I remember you were very yeah. like you know you didn't care. You you weren't that interested. But now Drake is collaborating with him, and he sees something in him on some level. You know what what did you think of this? I don't give a fuck track. Well, first of all, I gotta stop you right there because I still bump Rich Minions in a car. All right, I okay. still bump it. it uh, listen. So Listen, there, there are Yeet tracks. I don't like there are Yeet tracks. I do like, I think Rich Minions is fun. Um, but listen, I'm just saying in our conversation and I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying, I'm not saying there's never been a Yeet track you didn't like, but I'm saying there seemed to be a bit of a disconnect between you not being as hyped up on Yeet as like a lot of people in yeah. your audience were that no, were bugging dude, you to listen, listen to listen, it. Listen, listen, I, I, I like Yeet, but I'm not, I'm not really like his style of music is not really what I listen to. Um, but there are a couple songs that are like, that I like from him. I, I don't know how to describe him. Like he's kind of an art, like, how would you, um, who would you like equate to, to, to a Yeet? Like what's another artist like that where it's like, they have like a very distinguished sound, but it's like, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, look, e either way, and th this doesn't need to be a yeet discussion. I just want to know what, how you feel about him on the Drake record and how do you feel like Drake worked with him and, and sort of, you know, played into the, his usual vibe and sound, because obviously, you know, as far as like the flow of the track, the beat that's on the track, this is very much a yeet kind of track. And Drake is basically saying like, Hey, bring your sound to my album and I'm going to hop on which it. Is, like, how, 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 right do, how, how do you think, right how, how do you think it came together? Yeah, I, I think it was good because I saw people saying, "Oh, why? Is, why? Oh, he, he's it's a it's a it's a Drake feature, like because it's a Yeet song." I'm like, dude, it's better that Drake hops on a Yeet type of song than trying to bring Yeet onto a, a Drake type of song or something. No, for sure, yeah, because that's not where he thrives. We know that Drake can do very well on a bunch of different sounds, different kinds of songs so that's like when you got someone like that like yeet yeah you want you want to have like a yeet type of song on your shit not oh throw yeet in you know and and that's what i was going to say about the the um this is skipping ahead but the chief keith feature that could have been i i would have liked to see a different i think his shit was like really short yeah um and kind of like i don't know but yeah 
Okay, but but like, you know, listen, I'm not making a prescription there in terms of like how the song, you know, should it be more of a Drake track with Yeet on it? Should it be more of a Yeet track with Drake on it? Like, do you think they collaborated well? Did you like what Drake contributed to the track? Do you like the song and the album? Does it add to the record I for like you? The song. I like the song. I like the song now. When I first heard it, I was like, oh, what is this? After 10 times, I like it. But like also, I mean, I don't hate the track. It's not my favorite either. I'm just kind of on the fence with it. But there are some things about it that like really strike me as odd like what like what did okay. you think about that whole fucking intro with like kind of the new age sense and the lady singing and then the trumpet bit and then it kind of busts randomly into the fucking beat like how did you take that like i i like that kind of music uh-huh. so like i like that intro but it's a very weird transition like it to go weird. to go right from that it to almost, <sighs> it almost makes me it almost made me be like damn I, I would have liked to see what what would Drake have sounded like if this song continued. Right. No, like me, this, me too. Me too. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that that's, that's where it was kind of like weird, but like, besides that, it's just, but again, I don't listen to every Yeet song or some like that. I don't know. Is it like random? And then it, it cuts to, I have no idea. No, no, no. Yeet, Yeet, Yeet songs do not usually have that kind of intro. They don't. Okay, so this was just okay. So this yeah, was that, that was just, that was that was well. I mean, if you, I mean, sh- I know you already noticed, but like you know, there's a lot of tracks on this record where there's like an intro that sounds nothing like anything else that happens after, or there's an outro that sounds like nothing else that happened before, and this is just kind of another one of those examples. Yeah, but 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 in this one, I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind this little break as much. Like I like I don't care for the calling for you break. This break, I don't care about. This is cool to me. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, again, I, I think, uh, I, I, I guess for me, like, it, you know, I, I wasn't as crazy about Yeet on the track. I thought Yeet's contribution to the track was okay. I liked it. You know, I thought Drake was fine too. I, I thought, I thought in a way almost like Drake had to kind of like dumb himself down a little bit to make himself make sense on a Yeet song. You know, yeah. he, was, he was almost yeah. like, he was almost like rapping under his capabilities just to be like, you know, if I do too much on this, it's not going to make sense or maybe it won't like, you know, complement the type of vibe. And, and, you know, again, I'll say like, I feel like in a way fear of heights and daylight kind of already scratched this itch for me. So mm-hmm. Drake to come back again after first person shooter and do some semblance of it again, didn't necessarily like make the record better in my opinion. And I got to say this too, and this is something else that pissed me off when I saw it. I don't know if you go on TikTok a lot, but for some fucking reason, there's like a high quality like animation of Yeet and Drake. Have you seen this or no? Uh, no, no. What's a high it's quality Yeet animation? Yeet and Drake, like in the studio, like it's Yeet's on the, on the mic and Drake's okay. behind him. Okay. And then it's the part where Drake kind of comes in a little early on the song where he's like, money for fun, Right. But they they made the dude look this up. Look this up. They uh, made okay. the animation look so just like like fruity for no reason. Okay, all right, right. So they made Drake a little look a little fruity there. Is 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 that is Drake, that the issue? Oh, it's just Drake. Let's make fun of Drake. This is what I mean, bro. This is why Joe Buds. This is why he's not gonna do like what you were saying, bro. He's not gonna fuck with these people who've been fucking roasting him and saying crazy shit. Anyway. No, it's, uh, I, 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 I get it. I get it. I mean, you know, in in a way that sort of like you know, that that goes back to like all the rich flex, like stuff. Okay, okay, bro. But if Kendrick did it, it'd be fine. If that was Kendrick, no. L- listen, listen. I'm not. I, I, hey, it, listen. I'm not fired. making. I'm not making fun of it personally. You know, I like that track. And that I didn't, and that I didn't see that as fruity and that, and that in, 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 in solidarity with us both not seeing it that way, I tried to get you to repeat the lyrics of that song to me oh, and we would repeat them together in, in a fun way. And, and you pretended like your mic was crapping out and you left. If there was baby Keem, can you do something for me? You would like it, bro. I you like, would. I like rich flex. I do like it. I like All it. Right. Oh, that's fine. I, I'll, I'll believe you. I'll believe you, bro. I'll believe you. I said that last time when we talked. I'm on it for fun. All right. I believe you, bro. I believe you. Hey, Los, can you do something for me? Yeah, I'll fucking walk out of the room, bro. <laughs> Why won't you say it? It's not fruity. 
It's fun. Modern for fun. All right, come on. Come on, what? Let's move on with the. There's oh, a we, lot of we songs need... we gotta get to here. Man. All right, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, seven nine six nine Santa. I like this one too. To me, this track felt like um, it was almost like a dream sequence in the in the middle of the album, and I felt like I was in Drake's mind in like a weird spacey. Yeah purgatory kind of place with chief Keefe samples playing in the background <laughs> i mean it was it was a vibe it was a vibe i liked it i really liked it i think i think to me that's top three in the album for me i just because really? i like those kind of songs really uh, top three on the album yeah, for I you i really like that one so I, I i find it interesting that you again that that's top three for you would you would you say would you say it's three or two I would say it's three or two. Okay. And I'll tell you my other ones as we get through this. Okay. Is is there I, I wanna I wanna know is yeah. there a is there a certain bar or anything else about this track that stands out? I mean, I described the things about it that kind of stand out to me. Is there anything or a bar or anything about it that, that makes it a favorite for you since it's ranking so high? Anything like that, anything the, that Drake I, says I like or does the on it. Part when he comes in and says the shit about yeah, the the Tizo part at the end is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I I like I like that. I just I like when um I like when an album feels like it's doing callbacks to shit and mm -hmm. like you know what I mean like this is about the dog. I like all the dog sounds. You randomly. like the dog sounds? Did you like the dog bark radio themed. parts? The bark yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah. I like I like when an album is on theme. Like it's 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 a fun listen. So yeah, I like that part. I I like that's why I like uh. <clears throat> seven nine six nine if it didn't have that part i might not feel the same way i don't know i don't know okay all right did, did you like slime you out too when you first heard it so i like slime you out mm -hmm. i think that if we heard it within the flow of the album i think it would have been better mm -hmm. because a lot of i mean it went number one a lot of people do like the song but i feel like now though it's been a couple weeks when you're listening to the album you kind of skip it just because you're like i want to hear everything else um, but I think eventually I'll get back to like, that'll be, you know, um, a song I let play through, but yeah, I, I do like the song, but it's long in the middle of the album when you've already heard it, you know? Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, I, I let it play through every time I've listened to the record, uh, outside of when I did it on stream. Cause we already heard it. Um, yeah. mostly because like, I, I think it's a highlight and, um, you know, it, it, it just, it just. I, I just enjoy it musically. I enjoy it than some of the other moments here, so I'd rather just listen to that. I'd rather just play it through. You know, I think uh, SZA's contribution is great. I like the narrative tension between Drake and SZA. You know, I think um, that, you know, it's, it's great that she comes in on the track and he brings her in and yeah. she provides counterpoint to what he's saying. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think what I mean when I say that is that I think I just wish that I didn't hear it until the album. Yeah. I think, I think that's what I'm saying. Okay. You know, and, and look, to... to, to an earlier point that we were talking about and to sort of talk about the general themes of the record a little bit, I think as far as like exploring, you know, fighting, arguing, relationship drama, not getting along for X or Y or Z reason, you know, wh wherever these things come from, this is a way more interesting way of exploring that and, and bringing it onto the record than like, let's throw in a however many minute, a minute audio piece of this, like, you know, girl fucking talking about oxtail. You know what I mean? Like, I, so you're saying I, a girl's perspective and a guy's perspective on the same subject in a song. That's what you mean by instead of just having a random clip. That's yeah, yeah. And, and look, it's not the only way to, to bring in this kind of theme, but I think it's a more interesting way of exploring it. And, and it's and it's a way to explore it while also keeping it musical, you know, okay. as okay. well. You know, so, so, so that, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Um, OK, let's uh, Bahamas Promises, which you referenced earlier. Uh, yes. is this a highlight for you? Dude, this is number one for me right now. Number one is number that at 8 a.m. are tied. Dude, I fucking love Bahama Promises. I love you it, would. You would love Bahamas Promises. <laughs> Dude, what does that mean? Dude, no, because you're looking at it. I'm I was trying to tell the chat earlier. You're looking at it like, oh, why is Drake complain? Oh, you ruined my bombers. That's not what he's saying, bro. Think about if you finally get to go on a vacation, you're going on a trip, you yeah. want to relax, you're uh -huh. away from work, whatever. Now you got some a girl who's annoying, ruining your vibe, ruining the trip. 
this is a real thing that happens, bro. And it's and it, it, it happened to him, and it's a relatable thing. But you're looking at like, oh my god, Drake's whining about his Bahamas trip. Yeah. Dude. Because he is. He's not whining. He's like, dude, fuck you. You ruined my Bahamas trip. Fuck you. <laughs> like, why is that so hard to comprehend? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not even hard to con- it's not even hard to conceive. It's just funny. It's just funny because it's like, how am I supposed like, to say how's how are, how am I or anybody supposed to say and feel bad for Drake's Bahamas trip getting ruined? You're fucking Drake. Problem. You this can go to the Bahamas. You can go to the Bahamas this, year round. You can go to the Bahamas this, anytime this, you no, want. I'm if glad you if said some this. bitch is ruining your Bahamas trip, yeah. you could pack her in a fucking UPS no, box and send her back this, home okay. and stay another week in the Bahamas. This is what I mean. This is where it's the le- you people look and go, oh, dude, oh, you're rich, you're this, you're that, oh, boo hoo, right? That's like a thing that you're basically doing to Drake. When, dude, at the end of the day, he referenced it in the fucking song with J Cole. He's just a guy in the studio. This is a regular human. He's on. The, he's trying to enjoy his time in the Bahamas. And what happens? You got some annoying girl ruining who, the fucking who he trip. brought there. He did, but she broke her pinky promises with him. Yeah, but but here but here's the thing. Here here's the thing though. Like <laughs> chances are this this yeah. was not the first time this girl was annoying on the Bahamas trip. <laughs> if okay. somebody if somebody to me is annoying before a Bahamas trip, they're most likely going to be annoying on the Bahamas trip. I mean, no, and, and listen, uh, if you if you've been on trips, if you've trip. been on trips, you know that like you know that shit tends to create tension r- with with certain people, you know. No, and I get that. And if you and you listen, you said you've <clears throat> talked about your dating history and whatnot, right, dude? You know, you don't plan for a fight. You don't plan for something to go wrong. You don't plan. Yeah. Oh, you could have hatched in the past, but maybe it's going better now. All of a sudden, this shit could go fucking south. And then that is what I'm telling you. The shit, and then and on a vacation is the worst possible place where this could happen, bro. Because there's no escaping. You can't pack someone up, send them out of the Bahamas. You're there with her, bro. You gotta work through that shit, just like anyone else. You know, so, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he has to. <clears throat> he can get I her mean, another hotel room. He can get okay. another hotel room. He's Drake. I, you you don't got to deal with anybody okay. that you don't want to, okay. and 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 so also and also like he's not, he's not married to her. So you're dating someone for six months. You can just pack them up. Yeah, fuck you. Go in another room. Uh, if if somebody with me, if if somebody is so annoying that they would do that, that, that they would ruin my Bahamas trip, I wouldn't date them for six months. But you don't know that until the Bahamas trip thing happens. No, you you, you don't do if they're super annoying before the Bahamas trip. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess, but it could be, it could be, uh, you know, something goes, goes wrong. And then now you see the true colors, but, but you never but, know. L- look, if, if someone was like, listen, if somebody was really fucking up my Bahamas trip, here's me. If someone was really fucking up my Bahamas trip, I'd, I'd say, fuck you, go back to the hotel room or, you know, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to distance myself from you and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Bahamas trip by myself. Okay. What if you went wanting to enjoy it with the person you're with? I mean, uh, that's, that's unfortunate that, you know, that's something that I wanted, but like plans change if people like turn out to be toxic. Yeah. You're so dude, dude, this is not real emotion. That's not human emotion. Dude, you'd be disappointed. You'd be disappointed. There are other women in the Bahamas. Are you dude? Get the fuck. Yeah. You're going to go pick up women in the Bahamas. Be fucking upset, bro. You'd be emo- you'd be upset. It, it it listen. It depends on how much emotional investment I had in the person before I brought them to the Bahamas. Which which personally, which personally, they would have they would have to be a lot. Like yeah, but you that's know, for you. I'm not I'm not and like for us. Like not I'm, for I'm not I'm not even I'm not like, even yeah, sure like you 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 say six months. I'm not even sure if I would bring someone to the Bahamas after six months. It would have to be quite a while. Yeah, no, no, and that's true. But we're talking about Drake. We are. Yeah. He has we are. And, plan, and, 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 and that's the thing because he has, listen, a, a Bahamas trip is not a mortgage payment for him. So he can just like, if he's dating someone after two months, he'd be like, fuck it. Let's go to the Bahamas Yeah. before yeah. I, before I know you're stupid and annoying. Mm-hmm. And then I bring you on my Bahamas trip and then you ruin it. Yeah. So I, I, th- I think in that instance, he only has himself to blame. 
<laughs> so that's your okay. So, <laughs> so you're <laughs> So your problem with the track is that Jake has no one else to blame but himself. Don't ignore the music. Ignore yeah, the it's, melody. it's an annoying, it's, anno- it's an annoying, complaining ass song. And, and listen, and listen, here's the thing. My, my other gripe with the track is that it's, 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 it's one of these like, you know, R Kelly style rant R and B, you know, type songs where it's like, there's not even a tune to it. He's just like kind of singing his way randomly through a story and it's not even a good story. It's about some bitch that you shouldn't have been dating ruined your Bahamas trip. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Haley, Haley, you, you ruined my Bahamas life. trip. And that, and that's the other first mistake that he made there. You should have never brought Haley to the Bahamas. Okay. okay. There's, now there's, there's, ar- funny. because the that's thing is fine, there's, there's already 50 other guys making six figures plus a year, bringing a Haley down the Bahamas. Like, don't do it. It's just a bad move. What if you loved her, bro? (laughs) Okay. Let's talk about the next. (laughs) See, now it's out of the realm of possibilities of drinking love. All right, let's go, bro. All right. Tried our best. I love this one. This one's great. Yes. This is, this is a top three track for me. Yes. Why do you like it? I think I, it's just got a great tune. I think he's actually, again, he's he's caring about the vocal melodies. It's a great vocal performance. Uh, it's a good song structure, and um, you know, uh, again, it's it's actually a compelling story about you know trying your best in a relationship, and obviously, you know, despite your best efforts, thing kind of things kind of go to shit anyway. Yeah. And you know, it, again, I think it's just straightforward story. It's good storytelling, and. Um, you know, it's it's a, a great tune all around. You know, I, Drake is in his R and B bag, like I said in the review on this track. Um, and I think uh, if I had not, because I got the leak of this song like months ago, and it was actually this exact song. Like he didn't really, I don't think he changed anything. And when I first got it, I was playing that every day. Like so, I. If I, and this is another one, if, I, if this was the first time I was hearing this, I would be like even more fucking excited. Um, and it's still a great song. Like, I'm glad that now I can have this on my Spotify, Apple Music and shit and not have to play it off, you know, a random, you know, downloads app that I have. So I'm, I really, yeah, this is, I might have to redo my top three. This is actually a great song. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, if you're, if this song is not in your top three, it should be. Facts. I think I think it's I think it's one of Drake's best songs, or at the very least, one of his best songs that have has more of like an R and B angle to it. I heard you say that this is a top ten Drake song. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, no, I, I think I think it's a great I think it's a great track. And again, I don't mind Drake getting emotional. This track is great. Okay. Um, the screw the world interlude is cool. I thought that was a great beat, a good tribute as well. You know, he often yeah. sometimes will throw a little interlude in the midst of a record this long, and that one's cool. Um, yes. Drew Picasso, you know, felt a little bit to me like a Bahamas Promises moment. To, again, it's like, you know, an R&B rant kind of cut, and I just, you know, I think it's okay. You know, And, and look, Bahamas Promises, I, I don't hate it. You know, I just think it's a little funny unintentionally. And, you know, drags on a little bit. Drew Picasso also kind of drags on for me a little bit. I wish it was a little bit more straightforward as a tune, but, um, I I don't have super strong feelings for or against it. Do you, do you have strong feelings for or against it? Drew Picasso's top three on the album, bro. Uh, Top. Okay. So what, what did your top three looking like right now? Is it, is it tried our best Bahamas promises, Drew Picasso? You know what? Every, it changes every minute because there's so many great songs in the album, bro. Boy, but, but 8 a.m. in Charlotte's in the top three, though. 8 a.m. in Charlotte is, and we'll get to even an, another one or two that are also in my top three. Okay, wait, got, wait. Right do, we, about, do we know I how, the, 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 do we have three. a conception of the number three? You can't have six songs in your top three. I got about, I got about nine songs in my top three right now. <laughs> then it's Why a top nine. Why is you can't have nine? Funny? You're fucking telling me earlier about what I can and can't do in terms of like a Drake opinion or Drake review. Have fucking nine songs in your top three. It's meaning that yeah, there's I have nine that are not top three potential. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that's insane. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. That's 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 just funny. Like okay. <laughs> 
right, why don't you? Why don't you? Exp- right why, listen. Why don't you expand it to a top five and actually think about what's really in there? No, I, I, by the end of this, I'll have an actual top five. But when we get to the end of the track list, I'll okay. Have a five. By the end of this, we'll I'll really have, have a top five of your top five favorite songs. Uh, yeah, I will. I will have the top five. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll try to think of that too. Okay, all right. So Drew Picasso's top three for you. Why, dude? It's I um. I just like when Drake does this type of song. Like, you, you just, just like you just like when he's like just rambling on. You you just like a Drake not, ramble. It's not a ramble. There's like little. Hold on. Let me. I gotta play the part that I like. Hold on. Okay, you're, you're gonna play. Is is it a certain melody or a certain melody. lyric? Too many reasons why. Is is that it? Come on, bro. It? When, he, yeah, when he's dude. when he's hitting that, you're just like you're just dude, like yeah, dude, that's dude, my dude. shit. That's the sauce. Is is, is Listen, that man, it? Kendrick's not doing that. All right. <laughs> Kendrick so, can rap. Drake can rap. Drake okay. can sing. Eh. And, and anyway. so, so, so again, is it like, is it a certain mood about it? Is it a melody singing? Is it just the content of the song? Like what, why is it top three? For, for me, it's everything on that one. For me, okay. it's everything. The content, what he sang, and then also the melodies, like it's like the perfect combination. And that's why, um, and I have that with, um, with, uh, Bahamas promises. Like it's that kind of vibe for me. Yeah, I mean, you know, both both those songs kind of bring almost like, you know, almost like a, a again, I'm kind of like going on about a narrative like R. Kelly. I don't have like a super strong song structure in mind. It's more about the story. It's more about just the vibe I'm bringing. And I get it. I get it. You know, and, and I know where it comes from and I know what he's doing with it. Am I as on the edge of my seat with it personally when I sit, when I hear Drake do it? Not necessarily. And I feel like, you know, again, I, I don't hate the song. I'm not in love with it either. I, I think it's fine. Does that have to do with what Drake is talking about? Like, if it was a different subject, you on, would? On this particular song, no. No, it, I wouldn't say it has anything to do with the content on this one. I, I just okay. am not, you know. Yeah. So, sometimes when I feel like the song isn't, and, and this isn't always the case for every artist, but I feel like sometimes with Drake, when I feel like the song isn't necessarily progressing to any point in sort of like a clearer, concise way, I just like, you know, I'm just like, ugh. You know, can we go somewhere? What, like, you know, it's, it's, what, it's, uh, uh, are we driving the speed limit? What's the destination here? Da 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 da. Whereas, like, you know, I I, f- I feel like I feel like that sort of thing with him. You just soak that in. You're like, I'm I'm let's let's just hang here. I'm fine with hanging here. This is my vibe. This is my place. I got a question. What? This is a random question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. What do you think about the song "Fold and Close"? I, I'm not crazy about that one. So uh, this is a little point I want to make, and I'm not even saying that you were making this point, but a lot of people who have been hating on this album, the Joe Buttons and the, and the trolls online, whatever. Are, are they, are they bringing that track up? Not bringing that track up, but when people have tried to talk about the more life, you know, uh, day to day shit in life and the, and the, you know, my wife and kids and the folding clothes and, mm-hmm you know, your favorite artist, Chance the Rapper, right? They I don't, all I don't like Chance crying. the Rapper. What the fuck are you talking about? I know how much you like uh, the, um, the, in the Big Day album. And yeah, I'm yeah, saying, you know, you know, I love that record. People, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites of all time, yeah. who are saying that, they're like, oh, dude, we want to hear, dude, you don't want to hear that because people have done this and you shit on it, bro. You literally shit on people really talking about real life shit like that. When it has to do with I don't, like, I don't, know, well, listen again, I, I think you're projecting onto me. I don't, I don't hate that the song is about average everyday stuff. I don't hate that the song is about regular day shit. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not saying you, I'm, this was a point I was just making in general. Okay. Okay. So no, next, I, listen, I, I think, I think there's ways yeah. of going about that content. There's ways of, of not, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a, Big point of debate here. Um, I, I know I was I know I was making a joke about Chance the Rapper shit. Yeah, and and the Big Day whatever. If you listen to that album right now, if you dude tomorrow do this, okay. please do this tomorrow. Go listen to that album from the start. Take don't listen to Hot Shower. Okay, listen to the album. Guarantee you'll like the album, bro. I I actually guarantee you'll like the album. Okay, that song. And it's a very rare occurrence. 
but one song could actually ruin an entire album, bro. And that was a very rare occurrence that did. I'm telling you right now, anyone in here, same shit. Go listen to that, bro. You might think, oh, dude, it's so ass. Go actually listen, bro. For real. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an open mind. Um, uh, yeah. Members only. Did you love members only? I love when Drake and Party Next Door do a song. I love this song. But my worst line ever for Drake is in this song. So it automatically gets a little... I, I, I got to hear this. What is Drake's worst song line? Is, is it worst line ever or just worst line on this worst, record? Worst line I've ever heard him say. Really? Yes. Okay, what, yes. what is it? Is it the buy one? Yes. Now, now, why, now the, why do you not like that line? You're singing the song. You're singing along with the song. It's a catchy song. Then all of a sudden it gets to... you, Dude, I can't sing out loud. Oh, I feel like I'm by Like, like I, it's... Do you know what I mean? And I have no problem with anyone. Dude, this is not about people being gay or anything. I have no problem with them at all. I'm just saying that that line just didn't make sense. Like, it just, I don't know why he said it. You don't, I don't know if you really well, should. Well, what do, what do you mean you like don't know why he said it? I mean, the, the, point, the point of the song is pretty clear. Yeah. You, like, you, you don't know why he says that line in the song? You know, I get it. I think that should have just never been said. Okay, but that's but but dude, that is the only line I have. I think uh, you in the review talking about fucking ten other lines that were all fire, bro. The shit with the Shakespeare, just stop, dude. If Kendrick said that, you would be literally fucking shitting your pants, bro. Kendrick would stop. not say that. Like that's 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 too simple and silly of a fucking bar. But but listen, I feel like that, like. That line is on the le is on the level of like you know, uh, girl, you're a lesbian. Me too. No, because that's actually like a funny thing. So like, so so funny. in the car, you'll rap that you're you'll sing along that you're a lesbian, but you won't, but you won't sing along that you're bi. Dude, because that's like yeah, it's fun. Like the bi thing is just there's no joke there. You're just what, literally. What do you, what do you like, mean? There's obviously bi. a joke there. Yeah, no, but it's not like. I don't know how to explain he's it. He's not bro. seriously I, saying he's bi. He's not saying, I know he's not saying he's bi, but he put in one of the most catchy parts of the song. Like if you're singing along, you're going to accidentally be like, I think I'm bi. Like that's my issue with the song. That's my only issue with the song. <laughs> are, are you, are you, are you just saying that you're never, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what, dude? What? I'm. I'm just. I'm just saying. Are you just like? Are you? Are you just afraid that of, of what it's going to mean if you? If you are you afraid that it's going to manifest and you're actually going to feel by because you say the line? <laughs> dude, dude. See this. Okay, bro. Nice, man. Nice. I don't know how you just turned into that. But okay. Well, it, cool, it, it just. It just feels like it's coming from a bit of a well, like an insecure place. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what are you? Dude, if a guy said they're a lesbian, there's no way to misconstrue that. That's obviously impossible to be. But, but a wait, but, but misconstrue it how? You're in, you're in the fucking you car by about? yourself. Nobody's there, like popping up out of the backseat, being like, "Hey, I heard you say you're bi." Like, <laughs> no, I was I was dude, singing along I, with I the was song not by myself in the car. So that's you're wrong. Okay. Yeah. Well, well what I'm saying is like, how is it going to get mis misconstrued with who? Nobody else is there. You're just singing it in the car. I'm not saying it's going to get misconstrued. Like someone's going to hear me saying that. Oh my God, dude, you're by now. That's not what I'm saying. Dude. Okay, what are you I'm saying? just saying that it's just not a thing I want to sing along to, bro. I can have that opinion. <laughs> I mean, I again, it's like, it's, 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 I, I, don't, I just don't, I, I don't get just it. Like, there, there's dude, like, there's dude, like Brock. There's Hampton. a couple songs that, um, what's the dude? Fuck. Um, the guy, the dude who uh, twerks on the devil. Yeah, Lil Nas X. Yeah, like there's a couple songs. I like some of his songs, but then there's some like I'm not going to sing along. I mean, same uh, with Frank Ocean. Like, why? What does it? What does it matter? Like, listen, listen, listen. There's, 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 there's oh, other. Listen, there's other queer artists and rap artists out there. Like, you know, there's, there's Brock Hampton songs where they reference sucking, where it's guys rapping about like I'm sucking not dick. Gonna sing along to that, bro. I mean, the, like straight dudes do. It's not a big deal. What, dude? Wait, wait, wait. How did you just try to sing? I'm, I'm. 
that this is coming from a place of insecurity, but you just agreed that there's multiple songs that like have sus lines in it that people are not gonna like want to just be fucking you know yelling out loud, bro. No, no. What I'm what? saying, what I'm, what I'm saying. Well, first off, there's nothing sus about a guy sucking dick. That's just some. That's some, something some guys doing. That's fine. Number one. Wait, wait, wait. And, wait. Uh, and number you said two. It's not sus to suck a dick. Well, sus means suspect. What is suspect about sucking a dick? That's just something somebody might want to do. Okay, so that's full. Okay, okay. Now we're getting into a conversation that's like crossing like a lot of line. I feel there's people getting uncomfortable in the chat. <laughs> Well, listen, there's nobody uncomfortable in my chat. Everybody's kind of chill. There's some dick suckers in my chat for sure. Right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read a couple of your comments in the chat. <laughs> Keith Ledger with some dreads? What the fuck is that comment? That That's that's a Brock Hampton lyric. This guy is a clown and closeted clearly. <laughs> so now you got your fans saying shit like that. This is what I mean, bro. This is literally like, this is why I said I don't want to sing this fucking song, bro. <laughs> <coughs> uh, so, someone in chat just said that Los, Los might be a lesbian. Listen, bro. At the end of the day, all I was trying to say with that is just, yeah, there are certain, like, would you, okay, do you are you singing along to saying that you're sucking cocks? Like, is that do you sing along to that? If I think it's a catchy lyric, I don't give a fuck. All right, okay, 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 fine, okay, that's fine. Okay, li that's listen, fine. listen. I'm not, I don't I'm not crazy about the track either, but not only because no, like I, I think I, that I think I that like line that. I think that line is a little corny, sure. But like on top of it, I just don't get what the fuck he's complaining about on the song because like it it it, it seems like he's unhappy about the fact that this girl is like cool with all his dogs and she's too gangy and like to him that means like she's like a guy and i think that's kind of like a really stupid way to look at gender and like you know i mean it's like you know wouldn't wouldn't you personally love it if like a girl was like cool with your guy friends and it was like chill to have her around with with like your your dude friends uh i mean like like everybody just gets along I that, that wouldn't yeah, be cool no, to no, you? No. The getting along is fine, but I don't know if I would like... Ah, it's tough, bro, because I didn't... So wait, wait, explain what you're saying, because I didn't get that. <clears throat> well, yeah, he's like, he's, he's like literally saying that she's too gangy and she's too down with the guys. And, you know, it's... And again, he feels like he's bi because you're one of the guys. Girl. And it, it, he, he has like... And again, this is because I think, and, and I can't tell you all the details here because I don't think he lays them out very clearly because it's a silly thing to complain about, but still, um, it seems like he has an issue with her not sort of, I don't know, being in this separate girl you know part of his no, life no, no. where she's acting is, more feminine is, and not cool with the guys. Is, this is something that a lot of people can, can relate to and agree with. Like they don't want their girl to be too buddy, buddy, friendly, friendly with other guys. No, not with like, other guys, I, like with his guy friends, it seems. No, like. no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like people think like, like people don't want their girl to be so buddy, buddy, even with their best friends. <clears throat> but like, and why? That, that's a, what, what? Like, as, as long as they're just friends and that's it, what does it matter? Because, because No, because dude, it, 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 it like, it's like, that's my girl. Like, I don't, I don't even want her. I don't want someone to be able to have that like with her. Like I just want that's with that's with me only. I think that's what it, what he's kind of saying. Um, and it's not an insecure thing because people are typing misogyny, insecure. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just, dude, my girl is for me. She's not for everyone else. You're not you're not gonna go have fun with my girl and go fucking ha go do shit. The fuck is this? Well, I, I don't think he's talking about them like going out. A, a, not with him or anything. Well, it's just like you're being too buddy buddy. You're being too friendly. Don't be too friendly with them. You can be cool with them. Don't be too friendly with these guys. I don't like that shit. Okay, but also like, like do do you feel like that line that you don't like on the track is also like describing her behavior? Is she acting too much like a guy or something by being friends with his guy friends? I don't know. Is, what is, well, is, is, that, is that an issue wanna... too that people can relate to? 
I'm trying to think if maybe there's like friend groups or people where it's like you mm, I I really don't I honestly this that's why I said that it's not just the line itself it's the, I don't even know what that even means to be honest okay so I don't know okay. I mean obviously I know what it means it's like oh I like you but you're like one of the guys so I feel bi like I get that I get it but like Listen, I don't think it's that I don't think it's should be looked into that deeply to be honest. Okay. Well, you know, what 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 did you think about uh what would Pluto do? Okay. What would Pluto do? Top 3, bro. Top 3. Legit top 3. <laughs> it's top 3 in Legit your top, top 9. This is one of the most catchy Drake songs in recent memory. Um I if I could change something with the song, I would just get the, more of the okay shit throughout the song. Um but I still like the well, um. The question is, question is, well, Blue do fuck that bitch. I like that part, um. And I think it's just, I think that's also funny. It's like, what would, like Future's known for just like, you know, I I just I, I like it. I I mean I I I really like. What do you think? I don't know. I th I think I think it's a little cringe at a few points, honestly. God damn it, bro! Like, you, like he's talking about it. Like he, like he really looks up the future. Like, what would my buddy Future do? You know. And then he's like, it's it's just like sort of seems like a weird insecure validation kind of thing. Like he thinks Future's a really cool guy and he wants to be more like him. And then there's that other part you know, where he's talking about like dropping Cialis, <laughs> so so he could give Adonis a baby sister. Like that's fucking weird, man. It's fucking okay, weird. Part of the Cialis track. drink shit. You know what that is. You definitely know what that is. All right. <laughs> Wait, I definitely know what what is. What happened? I definitely know what is. You definitely know what that means, bro. Definitely know what what means. Uh, I think it's like an erectile dysfunction type shit. I don't. No, even no, know. I I know what it is. Like it's it's not a secret. Like what are, what are you trying to say? I know what it is. Like you, are you trying to say I've taken Cialis? Like my dick doesn't work. Listen, bud, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not gonna say that in so many words, but oh, but you are gonna say that. You're giving those vibes. I'm 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 giving vibes that I take Cialis. A couple, a couple. <laughs> <Cialis>. <laughs> I'll have you know. I'll have you know. <laughs> uh, dude, I'll have you insecure. know. You're insecure, dude. See, like what? You can't just yell out a fucking thing and then call someone insecure. Well, I th I think the f I think the looking up to future bit is insecure. I just think the Cialis part is kind of like a weird flex. I mean, I mean, dude, you gotta look at it like this. You know, he's friends with Future. This is Future. One of the. I do, said do, you do you think? Do you think that's something he learned from Future? Did Future teach him to get a Cialis prescription? No, no, no. But hold on, hold on. This is. Let me finish this thought before we. I said the other day, I'm like, yo, I think Future's one of the best rappers ever. Okay. I, yeah. I think he. I think number wise and like hits and like how long he's been around. I think he's one of the best. Is that a crazy thing to say? I know your hit, your rap knowledge is not great, but I'm just saying in general, um, what, is, what's your opinion on that? I, I wouldn't agree that he's one of the best ever, but like, what are you trying to say ultimately here? What do you mean? What I, are you, are you, are you bringing this up to make a point or I am bringing this up to make a point. Okay. My well, point what's the it? point? You're friends with one of the one of the biggest rappers ever, right? Okay. He's a cool guy, right? You, oh yeah, that's my boy. Oh, what will Future do? It's like you're saying it about your boy. Like, all right, what will he do? He's fucking this girl, so I'm gonna yeah, I, I'm gonna do it. Okay. That's basically what he's saying. He's not yeah. saying, oh my god, I look up to him so much. I don't think I don't get that from the song. Well, I I I I, 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 th I, th I think it comes with like a a serious kind of reverence because i mean usually that phrase is like you know what would jesus do that sort of thing and you're and you're sort of like throwing future there in place of it you know not that i think well, he, he's looking at future like a religious figure but i think it's it's coming with a coming from a place of like similar reverence well you know i think when it comes to getting girls and and whatever future does i mean you see the, the history of the, all the baby moms whatever right this dude gets ass right so in some ways yeah maybe he, can, he, he can't keep it though but in some ways, <laughs> he is kind of the uh, you know a god of getting ass. So he is kind of being like a what would Jesus do? Yeah, what would Future do? He's he he's he, you know what I mean. So anyway, okay. All right. Well, uh, top three on the album for you. Um, 
All right, all uh, all the parties. You were talking about this track earlier. What what did you want to say about it with Chief Keef? Yeah, so with th- with this one, this one first of all, I really like. I like the whole thing. Chief Keef's part didn't like. I would love to have heard Chief Keef on like a harder beat and like them rapping and shit and him saying some crazy shit. But instead, we got, kind of got like a singing Chief Key for like twenty seconds, which I don't mind. Like, I don't think it's bad. I just think if you have Chief Key in a song, you should do, you know, more or some or or at least like when you do a Yeet, like a Yeet type of song, do a Chief Key kind of song. Um, but but again, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it because the the whole song to me is good. So, I, what do you I, think about Ella? I think the song starts pretty strong, but then it ends bad. Like I like Drake's intro. I like Chief Keef's part, even though maybe it's not the type of vibe that I would expect Chief Keef on. But like I, I feel like since he initially kind of broke with like his early mixtapes and stuff, he's done a lot of weird experimental stuff that a lot of fans aren't necessarily clued into. So I'm like not surprised to hear him trying something different on a Drake track. I, I guess the issue that I have with the track is like immediately after Chief Keef does his thing. Drake repeats the same refrain right after, but then with the beat slowed down. And then after that, he just like kind of trails off into a sung part that doesn't fucking go anywhere. And it's like, what's going on? Like, shouldn't this like bring it back to that catchy intro? And then we get chief Keefe again. And then like, you know, like you said, maybe we get more of him or something. So it seems like a more proper feature, but instead it just like kind of trails off into this. It nothing. Just feels like, it just feels like your problem. And you've done this many times. It's like the fourth time we talked about this. Yeah. If Drake does a song that's textbook, like verse hook, verse hook, you have the same <laughs> problem with that, that him doing a song where it's kind of not, uh, it's not, um, what's the word? Um, uh, norm. No, not normal. Um, fuck. Uh, traditional. No, what the fuck is the word? Fuck. Uh, and, uh, Structure? No. Ah, fuck it. Conventional. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if he no, I, listen, listen, I, I, song, I, I, I you know what you mean. I know. I, listen, I know what you mean. But, but here's the thing. I don't think Drake is good at it. I don't think Drake is good at making unconventional song structures. I don't think like because the moment that he changes some stuff, like usually that's when the momentum goes downhill and it gets really fucking boring. There are some artists that I think are good at it. I think Travis Scott's really good at it. If, you know, and to bring it back to Drake, I thought the track that they did together, Meltdown on Utopia, was really good. You know, all the switches on that were solid. It felt like there was a lot of hype and you know interesting shit, edgier seat shit happening as we move from moment to moment. But when Drake tends to change over and over on these tracks that have a weirder song structure, it's like we downgrade to a more boring part, and then we downgrade to another boring part, and then we ground, but then we downgrade to an even more boring part, yeah, but, and it just trails but, off. But that's where we disagree because that's just your opinion of you saying it's boring. Hey, when l- listen. At the end of the day, this is all my opinion. It's all just opinion. But I, I just listen. There are other artists out there that do these kind of beat switches and these non-conventional song structures. I just don't think Drake's great at it. I just, I dude, I just, I disagree, and, I, and I'll come up with examples because there are a lot of songs that don't follow a traditional thing that are great Drake songs, bro. I mean, when you when you say traditional, um, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe you got an intro and it's verse, chorus, verse, bridge. Mm-hmm. Maybe you come back to the cur- chorus again at the very finish, or there's an outro. I mean, that's pretty traditional. Hey. What do you, and and there's songs this on this all, record like that that have a more traditional structure. This is all topic too, but I want to hear your opinion on this because I don't know if I've asked you. What do you think about the album views? Uh, th- th- we we've talked about this before. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't remember what you said. I'm not. I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> I, 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 I like. One. I like this album more than views. I think that you need to. I th- you know no you fuck what I said about Chance the Rapper. That was. You need to listen. I, I, to I need views. to go back and listen to views. You need to go back and listen to views, bro. You have I, to. Bro. Also, also, how could you? Like to me, views was disappointing, and and it couldn't be anything else other than disappointing because it came after. If you're reading this, is too late. You're, Which yeah, like I, that record is I, so, that record is at least twice as good as that record. Oh my god, dude! Views has so many 
there's so many like highlights on views. It's kind of crazy, bro. Yeah. No, now, now I'm having flashbacks. We have talked about this. Let's, let's move on. Okay. Okay. Next. Now we have talked about this. Yeah. All right. Um, all the parties. All right. So 8am in Charlotte, we both love this one, right? 8am in Charlotte to me, that is one of his best, uh, you know, those time, yeah, time, time explore. location type tracks. Yeah. Yes. That this is one of his best. This song for me, this is number one or number two for real, for real on the album for me. Okay. Uh, no, I, I think it's great. Production's great. Bars are great. Yeah. Love that domination kinky bar too. I thought Drake was funny on this track. He was charismatic on this track. Um, yeah. The shots were cute. Just every, everything about the track was was really entertaining. And, and, and like you said, I think it's one of his best songs with that type of Drake title formula. And it, it like blows the Bridal Path track off of CLB out of the water. I, I, th I think it's great. What was that one called? Se um, 7 a.m. Bridal Path. Yeah. If I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I first heard the 7 a.m. Bridal Path, I didn't even think that that should have been one of those time... Drake songs. Um, I think another song in there, I, I'm forgetting the name, should have been, but it's fine. I, I mean, I like COB. I know you have issues with COB, but I, I still like COB. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, well, here's an interesting one. What what did you think of BBL Love? BBL, dude, BBL Love, I like to see this every once in a while from Drake. It just, it's, it's, you know, he's like, kind of like, you, like you said, like he's uh, taking the pit, whatever. Yeah. Like he's like joking. Yeah. Like you, now you're not supposed to take it so serious. That's why I like that he added interlude on it because I don't. Yeah, I yeah. feel like if they didn't say interlude, I think people would be kind of clowning the song. Right. No, I I I agree. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I think it's funny. I think he's being funny. I think it's a funny track. He's just being preposterous on it. He's he's being yeah. It's I mean it's ridiculous. Can I feel it? Can I feel it? Like it's right. it's it's funny. Yeah, no, it it is a funny one, and you know, just kind of the little bar about like you know, you don't know, you don't know real love, just like a fake ass until you feel it. I think in a way, also too, it could be one of the saddest songs in the album. Uh, you know, in a Disguised. weird way, you're you're absolutely right. Because he's literally out loud being like, "Can I feel it? Can I feel it?" That real love. Like, I want to feel the real love. I wanted to feel it on my Bahamas trip. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. This this next one's got to be my one of my least favorite tracks on the record. Bottom three for me. Bottom three. Gently. Yeah. Do, do you have any strong feelings on this one? I just, I just, I. As 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 all, as, a, as a fellow Italiano, soprano. First of all, the, yeah, the song. Basically starts at 1 30 because Drake does like an intro for like 40, 30, 40 seconds. Sure. So you tell me Drake and Bad Bunny a minute and 30 seconds, dude, that's got to be longer. And it's got to have that structure like the song Mia has. And like, it's got to have, dude, you do that with Drake and Bad Bunny. You're, that's a hit, bro. And this still might, this dude, you know, people love Bad Bunny, people love Drake. This still might be a hit. And um, from, you know, the 30 second point on, I like that part. I just, I don't know. It's, it's, this is another one that seemed like two different songs kind of because of the intro part. <laughs> yeah. Um, once it, once it got going, it was better, you know, yeah. but like it, the, the intro is just terrible and it's a non-starter for me. I, I just can't, I just think you sound silly on it. But that's just, that's like you being biased though. That no, is it's you not biased. because no other fucking artist does that shit and does gets what? away with it. And thinks they sound cool doing it. He's speaking Spanish. But, but, but he's doing the silly accent with it too. You want, to, you want him to have a Toronto accent while speaking Spanish? It'll sound horrible. But no, this sounds horrible. It sounds like he's making I've fun been, of him. I've been learning Italian. You need to put an accent on your words when you, you can't speak like American in Italian. Okay. It doesn't but, work. But the, but the thing is like, I'm sure. Okay. You know what? Say a sentence in Italian. Uh. <laughs> Any sentence in Italian. <laughs> You're putting me on a spot right now. It's gonna sound bad. I can't roll. It doesn't. My, my it doesn't need yet. to sound just perfect. Relax. Just, just say, just say a sentence in Italian. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm not. I'm not that far along. Okay. Just say any sentence in Italian. Literally any. I don't sentence. have a sentence, dude. 
Say a phrase. Uh oh. Uh, um. Uh, Como. Literally, just one word, really. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Damn, I just watched the fucking. I just watched Equalizer three yesterday. Fuck, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I, ugh. <laughs> Do I have to Google a fucking Italian phrase here to illustrate my point? <laughs> like, what the no, fuck? You're, you're telling me to do it. You make the point. Say an okay, Italian well, phrase. Okay, well I can't. I can't make the fucking you, point unless I have. Okay, come and say chiama. You, I could say that to any Italian person, and they would know what the fuck I was saying. Yeah, right? But you sound nerdy, though. What? What do you mean? I sound wordy? No, you sound nerdy. Okay, it doesn't matter if I sound fucking nerdy. They would they would understand what I'm saying. Okay, now yeah, listen. But it doesn't there's a, there's sound a difference. Cool, there's a difference between me saying "come si chiama" to an Italian guy and saying "come si chiama." Okay, that's that's what the fuck that's what the fuck that's Drake is doing on that song. Okay, when, when you when you Luigi. when you speak, <laughs> well, that's how fucking Drake sounds on the fucking song. You can fucking you can Mario speak Luigi. Spanish. You can speak Spanish without going uh, sopranos italianos. Like fuck you. That's so clownish. That's ridiculous. Okay, you don't need to no, listen. Was, you can say phrases in other languages without doing a cartoonish accent. Dude, honestly, bro, you sound xenophobic. No, that's. That's the exact opposite point that I'm, I'm making. I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know what xenophobic means. <laughs> what the what? fuck? What the absolute fuck? What the fuck? I, don't, I really don't know what that, but still, dude, it this is, this like is, is going to get clipped. This is going to get clipped so fucking hard. Like you understand that, right? I just sound okay. Fine. I don't care. I'm just, I'm, I'm we're having an honest opinion, uh, honest conversation. Anyway, okay. what, were you, what were you saying? Let's get back on track. I was saying you could speak in other languages without doing a cartoonish accent is all I'm saying. Dude, listen, I agree with you, but I think you're exaggerating on how much he was exaggerating, bro. No, that's what that's what he fucking sounds like on the song. Anybody no, can go listen no, to it. Matter and say, fact, yo, play the beginning. Play it. I want to hear it. Play the, <laughs> play, play the beginning. I want to hear it. Well, I don't think you can hear what I'm playing, so you would need no, to play it for I yourself. No, I heard it before. I heard it. Okay. I'm baby Maris is from Casablanca. Like, get the fuck out of here. That is not how Drake he's talks. Like singing, though. He's that is singing. not how Drake talks. But he's singing. But it, that's not how he sings either. Yeah, but yeah, because he's speaking Spanish now. Just because you speak Spanish doesn't mean that you need to start going up into your nose and, t and singing like this. Like, that's not fucking necessary. Listen, bud, listen, I'm not taking singing lessons from you. I'm just telling you what it is, dude. Okay? And I don't think <laughs> you're in, at any li at any uh liberty or anything to give Drake fucking singing lessons. And what? all the Spanish, all the bad Bonnie fans, they're going to eat this up and they're going to love it. Because guess what? He's speaking her language. He's speaking it. But, but no, once you get past that part and then when Drake comes in, I like that part. Bad Bunny. But I wish it was a more back and forth. I wish there was a hook. I just, you know, you have two big artists on a thing. Like, you know, I, I want to see, uh, I don't know. I want to see more. All right. Well, moving on from there. Uh, what, okay. what are your thoughts on Rich Baby Daddy? Rich Baby Daddy's a banger, bro. Uh, you know, I, I agree. It's a banger. It really, it like, honestly, no, all jokes aside, it really is a banger. Um, and I even like it to the point of the outro when he's like, the dog days are over. I even like that, bro. But the actual song, <laughs> Sexy Red going crazy in a hook. Then you got Drake come in. Sexy right again. Then you got Scissor come in. I mean, dude, I, to me, it's a banger. It's gonna be played at parties, clubs, bar. Like people yeah, are gonna shake their fucking ass. It's a party track. You know what I mean? And it's it's a party track. It's unhinged. It's very entertaining. It's wild. It's a wild track. That's like a Kiki song. That's like a uh, sure. Do you love me song? Like that's really it's one of those. But even even crazier. It's it's sexy red kind of makes the song insane. She kind of made it unplayable on the radio a little bit. I mean, maybe, but who? No, nobody's worried about radio play in 2023. Yeah, I guess. I guess. All right. Um, uh, the, the last 
three tracks on the record, honestly, for me are, are just like totally boring, totally boring. I, I, I mean, mean I, and that, and that, and that makes sense coming from you. That makes it sense. does make sense coming from me, but I mean, you know, that to me, sense. the little Yachty track adds little to nothing away from home. I, you know, again, I get the concept, you know, looking back, we're going to the past, we're walking down memory lane, we're, we're going over all these various things that have happened to bring me to this point. But like, what the fuck is with the Esperanza Spalding shit? Like, what, like, where the fuck was that coming from? So I don't know who that is. She, she's a, she's a jazz bass player and, and singer and all the more reason for that shot to not make any fucking sense. Because if you're Drake's core fan base and you have no fucking idea why he even brought her up, like why mention her by name to throw a shot at her anyway? What if she did something fucked up to him? He, he would have said so on the track, but he, but he uh, all seemingly according to the narrative of the song, all she did was win an award that he didn't get. Wait, what? You you didn't notice this part of the track? It's not that I didn't notice it, but what I'm saying is there's no way that the only thing... Well, I, I don't think Drake really messes with anybody in the jazz scene. Like, I don't know how much Drake has to do with anybody in, in that world of music. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before we even... We kind of glazed over the, another late night. That's a catchy song. I love the I love the hook. Another lady, I want bitch. Yeah, Lil Yachty comes in and does his Lil Yachty shit, but that's Lil Yachty, bro. It's a unique. I mean, sound. I, I, I like the beat on the track. I just don't think it's that is interesting of a song generally. But when you say interesting, right? Yeah. How many songs on the on the album "Damn" are interesting? Uh, "Damn" is not my favorite record, but I mean, listen, that's that's not even a point of comparison. Listen, I I, I think I think it's a song that's trying to be a fun song. Yeah. But like, I, I just don't think it's that fun. Rich Baby Daddy is fun. Yeah, I, I just okay. don't think, I don't think Another Late Night is that fun of a song. Okay. I just think, it, I, I think it's pretty low impact, especially compared to the song that just came before it. I mean, listen, we'll agree, disagree. I think it's a fun song. I think it's, I like listening to it in the car. Um, we, we, well, we know the car is where you like listening to it. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's, I, dude, it's, I have no compl. I really have no complaints. I, at first, I was like, ah, the little yachty. But then I was like, dude, I kind of like it. So now I fuck with it. All right. Well, you know, either way, I I just find it really odd that Drake is on the away from home track. Yeah. It he he seems like you know, almost kind of like ups, upset that he had to deal with some obstacles to get to where he is when like. I feel like that's the point of getting to a, a place in life where you can be proud of, this, of the success that you had. Would he have rather just everything to get to the point where he is now just be easy? Then there'd be nothing to brag about. There'd be, there'd be no tension. There'd be no story. There'd be no nothing. What he's saying throughout the whole thing is that he remembers Yeah, a lot of other people don't remember. And a lot of people just see Drake as, oh, you're just Drake. Well, I, I, I know, I know he remembers. I'm just saying like in the context that he brings some of the stuff up, it just seems like he's kind of bitter about some of it. And it's like, I just don't get why. I mean, we're talking about struggles he went through in life and shit. Of course, he's going to, it's not going to be the best fucking memories. I mean, I mean the but sure, but like at this point, memories. at this point, those struggles are seemingly over. He's successful now. He is now reaping the benefits of everything that he's done. So I just don't see the reason why some of these things come up in a bitter context in the way that they do, especially some fucking jazz bass player that like won an award that he didn't get however many fucking years ago. <laughs> what the fuck does it even matter? Like, you know, he's, he's at, he's at the point now where, as he says on this, on the record and on one point that he uses a Grammy as a doorstop. So like, what the fuck would one more award that he could have gotten so many years ago, even matter to him at this point? Listen, I, 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 I get that. Um, I don't really even care about the, Gra do you care about Grammys? I don't think they're, I don't even think that they're, no, they're no I, I, like I mean, I, I don't, but I'm just sort of wondering why Drake does in this instance. You know, and, and look, I'll, I'll say generally, this is one of like many shot, you know, many random shots throughout the record that don't 
that, you know, that just seem like kind of corny and bad taste because they're just kind of unnecessary. Like the random shot at the weekend at, on members only as well, for example. Um, but you're you know, like, 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 let, let's, let's, let's be fucking real on that part of the track. Like the bitches are playing the weekend way fucking more than they're playing party next door. Like, I don't you, know where the fuck you, Drake is hanging out where the women are exclusively playing party next door over the weekend. That's just not fucking happening. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to argue because I like the weekend's music. Okay. I'm not going to argue. And well, try you're to you're not going to argue because there's no fucking argument. Like there's, there there's, literally, no, there's, no, dude, there's, there's no there's argument. argument. Drake is just literally making that up. But I don't think that that's what he said. No, that is literally what he said. No, but no, I think you're reading it the wrong way. What did, what did he say then? So like you had the lyrics pulled up, read the lyrics. I will pull them, pull them up right now. All right. And I've read them a few times. I, what I gathered was that it was, it was not a shot at the weekend. He says his bitches are playing P and D in them. Those shorties don't listen to weekend is what he says. I think he's describing a certain type of girl. What, what is the, what the fuck is the type of girl? The type of girl that bumps P and D versus the type of girl who listens to the weekend, which is more mainstream shit. It's a type of girl. It's a girl who likes music, like who is into music, that kind of whatever. That's the, the line. I don't think he's insulting the weekend because the weekend and him are the same as, as far as stardom. So it's like insulting yourself, bro. He's yeah, but, but 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 the thing is, haven't they had like a bit of like a, a silent beef thing going on? I, dude, I don't know, and I wish there wasn't. Like 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 since take fun. care because they they worked together at that point, but then it kind of split off. Dude, I, honestly, bro, I really don't. I wish this. I don't know. I I I mean, obviously, we don't know, but I wish that they would make a song. I think that. I think it would be great. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, they, I, th I think, I think a there's a reason. I think there's a reason they haven't been. But like, look, ultimately, the point I'm trying to make here is that you know it it seems like, and there are many points on the record, you know, where Drake is talking about like settling beef and being silent about beef and like not wanting to be in the midst of beef. But he's simultaneously he's throwing fucking out shots at, at fucking everybody. Everybody's getting a fucking shot, even people who he hasn't had anything to do with in years. He's just throwing shot, 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 shot at everybody. And yet, also, he's like, oh, well, I don't, I don't like beef. I don't want to beef too much, guys. I want to be peaceful. Where does he say, where does he say that? He, he says, even on 8 a.m. in Charlotte, he's like, oh, we're settling the beef. is so quiet. We're settling the beef. No, so quiet. okay, that's not the line. You, you obviously went over your no, head. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. no. The lines on Drake's on this record is not, not going over my head. There are points on the record and on many records where Drake is actively talking about how he's he's not trying to beef or start any drama and so on and so forth but yet he's also just throwing out shots at people that, that don't deserve it how can you say who deserves it or not you don't know what's happened behind the scenes what if the weekend snake drake what what the what the fuck could esperanza spalding have done to drake you don't know dude he could she could have fucked his best friend who knows <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't her, think she, she fucked, fucked his best friend. Up. And even if she fucked his best friend, no, oh, Jesus Christ, dude, she could have fucked Jobs. You're, you're you're fucking unhinged. He says, he says, four Grammys to my name, a hundred nominations. Esperanza Spalding was getting all the praises. I'm trying to keep it humble. I'm trying to keep it gracious. Who fuck? Who give a fuck? Michelle Obama put you on her playlist. Are you? Did, did Michelle Obama fuck his friend too? So he's like, "Fuck you and fuck Michelle Obama's playlist." No, the Michelle Obama line could apply to a lot of different people. But still, it's like it's so it's bitter not, to just be like, "You made it on Michelle Obama's playlist." Well, who cares? Like, what? Like, what do you care? Obviously, something happened, dude. Use your melon head, you bastard. Like, I'm listen, li li it. listen, listen. Here's the thing. Just and and this is the problem with Drake, with Drake fans, with 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 a, a lot of y'all. Okay, just because something you, you guys are like something gonna happen, just because something happens doesn't mean you need to get in in your feelings about it and then write a silly bar about it and put it in a song. 
Like the but option if, of if you being Drake, quiet though, is there. You can just be quiet. Though. That's why we. That's why we like Drake. He's he's real. He says what's actually going on, bro. He's not. He's not hiding shit. No, he 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 is apparently because we have to make up stuff happening behind the scenes in order for silly bars like this to make sense. If he was if he wasn't hiding anything, then he'd tell us everything that drove him to write this bar, but he's not. He's just writing it and it just seems really bitter and silly. Yeah, dude, and 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 and, and listen, this is another thing because as soon as I said the word hiding, oh yeah, we're gonna say the the, the push T jokes, which nobody cares about push T in 2023. <laughs> nobody cares. That's fine. Kanye gave him that fucking album. That's fine, right? Dude. This is what I got to say about this shit, all right? Okay, if what? you actually cared to get the facts straight, because you're like in some fucked up way a journalist, right? If you cared to get the facts straight, you would know that Drake, during that old shit where Pusha T said the shit, whatever, you would know, dude, that the DNA sample was lost in transit, okay? This is well documented. Look it up. He didn't have a confirmation that it was his kid. Who are, right? who are you talking to? Air. Wait, okay, wait a second. Do you, did you think that I didn't initiate this topic? You didn't initiate. I'm reading the chat and I'm getting pissed off. Okay, I'm not. The, the, I'm not telling my chat what to say. And you're telling you're talking to me about how I'm a journalist, but you're bringing up the Pusha T thing. I, I didn't initiate Pusha T as a topic. No, but no, but you did it invert. You did it like with a sleight of hand. No, I didn't. I know, what the I fuck know, are you talking wait, about? I know you're, dude. Come on, I know your ways, bro. I, I I initiated the push a T topic with a sleight of hand, dude. And at the end of the day, too, I want I want to bring this point up too because uh, you, you may may or may not have seen this, but I just want to I find it really funny, bro, that Kanye is nowhere to be found for fucking months, years, whatever, right? All of a sudden, Drake's about to drop. Now, all of a sudden, there's fucking oh a leak documentary footage. And all this shit of Kanye saying he gave all these people their albums, he did all this shit. Dude, that was propaganda that was spewed. And I don't know what kind of weird shit's going behind the scenes, but I, it, was, it was a tactic that I think Kanye used to get some like attention away from Drake, which goes back to my original point that, like, dude, at the end of the day, bro, like, Drake is the go to this shit, and all these other people are scared, bro. All these other people, Kanye said he was scared and made a fucking album with Jay-Z and teamed up, bro. And you were saying all the other rappers didn't like him. That's why he's the GOAT, bro. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I don't have any opinion about the Kanye leaks, honestly. I mean, I, I think he, I think they're, they're, I think they're strategic. I mean, I don't know how much of them are driven by Drake. I think, I think a lot of it may have more to do with him trying to like, uh, make people forget about all the Nazi stuff. There's also that. Um, but uh, no, I mean, I, I agree that it's, that it was planned either way, but I, I don't know how much it has to do with this record directly. This, you know, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not crazy about some of the shots on this track and some of the bitter framing. I mean, listen, conceptually, I wouldn't mind, a Drake song where he goes back to the past and, and honestly, like, you know, sets the record straight on a lot of stuff that frankly, you know, requires restating given that there are dudes out there like Joe Budden who were like, yeah, back in the day, Drake was rapping for the rappers when that wasn't true, when that wasn't true, yeah. it, you know, it's, it would be great to have a Drake track that just kind of gives a simple history and is honest about that stuff and just true about that stuff and doesn't need to fucking start beef with a random fucking jazz bass player out of the fucking blue for no reason. You know, there's bigger fish to fry because again, you know, to, to that point, as you said earlier, you didn't know the fuck she was. So it's like, what does it even matter? I mean, that, I think that also is the same thing. Like, who cares, dude? He's throwing shots out. Do well, he's putting it out there as content in the music, and I'm just talking about it because it's in there. Yeah. I mean, listen, <clears throat> you might think it's a random shot and like mean, but is it not facts though? No is, one knows is that what is, bro. facts. There's nothing, there's nothing factual about it. He's just mad that she won an award that he didn't get. 
I'm saying no one knows who she is. Okay, no one cares who Michelle Obama puts on a playlist. Yeah, it's mean, but it's still facts, though. Dude, you're not listening to Michelle Obama's hits of the month. You're not. You don't give a fuck about that. I'm sure some people are. Who the dude? If you're taking dudes, who I'm not. The I'm, fuck not is say, I'm not saying Obama I am. Is, there, there are people out there who are different than you and I that would probably take Michelle Obama's music picks seriously, and that's fine. Or you dead ass mate? Okay, okay, no, no, no. Okay, that's fine, bro. <laughs> you know, no one cares about that shit. It's mean. It is mean. But I thought that you liked when rap was mean, and it, it right, right. Shop. Yeah, it, it, it actually, like uh, so, someone in chat says, "Low snow, zero moms." Yeah, there's probably some moms out there okay. fucking with the Michelle Obama playlist. Moms deserve okay, music yeah. too. Okay. So I, again, a guy in the chat who's saying I know zero moms because he's still having play dates. That's fine, bro. <laughs> Maybe fine, he just bro. picks up a lot of milfs. You don't know that. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm I'm sure there's a fucking milf hunter in the chat right now, bro. Maybe there is. Maybe there's three or four. Maybe there's a few bi people as well. Right, listen, that's fine. And I have no problem with any bi people. Well, you know, I, 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 I'll, I'll sing the line from the Drake song in solidarity with all the bi people. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. Hey, let me, let me tell you this though. And I want your opinion, but I know okay. it doesn't really, I mean, it's biased, but right now this is rap album of the year. Okay. Yeah. You can say that. All right. So, so what, <laughs> well, I mean, do you, do you, do you disagree? I mean, Oh, I mean, you you know I disagree with that. Well, I'm, okay, so what is that? What is the rap album of the year? Yeah. I, I don't know if I can say, but there's like at least several albums of, you know, rap albums that I would take over this. Probably the Travis Scott record. Probably the Danny Brown JPEG oh, Mafia stop, record. Stop. You don't like the Travis Scott record, bro. No, I do like the Travis. What do, you, what do you mean? I don't. Are you just telling me I don't like it? You don't like it like that, bro. Like it like what? I like it more. I just, all I said was I like it more than the Drake record, which I do. I, I, I just think that like, I listen, I like Travis Scott. I like, uh, I like Astro World. Utopia. Eh. Utopia to me sounded like it was, it was like, uh, like trying to sound like a Kanye album. Out a few songs. Like half the songs. So on, on, just, on a few it, songs, it, it, but Travis uh, usually wears his influence on his sleeve. I mean, he's had songs from his past records that sound like Kid Cudi songs. Like it's. And again, I don't. I don't want people to say I'm saying that the album's not good. It's good. I think that for all the dogs is great. Um, but I'll, also, also the new Arm and Hammer record, "We Buy Diabetic Test Strips." I think that's a better rap record. But you know, you you, you, you don't you called? don't know you don't know the fuck these artists are. It doesn't matter. What did, doesn't what did matter. you say that was called? We buy diabetic test strips. So you think you're cool for knowing some underground shit? I did not say that I'm cool. I just said those are albums that I prefer. But you you haven't even heard them, so it doesn't even matter. You think this is uh? Did you like uh, Lil Uzi's album? Uh, not more than the Drake record, no. I'm glad you said that. Um, okay. No, Someone said, not, no, yeah, definitely not more than the Drake record. Diabetes test strips. <laughs> They're called Armand Hammer, like like the baking soda. Uh, yeah, let me hear. Let me hear your rap album of the, of the year. Hold on. Oh God, you're gonna fucking hate this shit. Okay. Um. Anyway. <laughs> it, uh, um. Yeah. So then, and then I think with the Drake album, um, just the pol What do you think? Polar opposites. Let's track. I mean, you know, listening to it was a little bit tedious, but honestly, like I liked that it sort of tied up a lot of the themes with the toxic relationship stuff. So it does, it does kind of, you know, puts a bow on the whole thing. Kind of feels like an ending to the story in a way. Um, yeah. So, I mean, 
I, I, and now I see what you're saying about the, the second half. Like you like the first half more like before 8 a.m. Because right. you basically are shitting on most of these songs after yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah. yeah. So so if, if you're so if the album ended at 8 a.m., would you have rated it higher? I mean, yeah, probably on average, because I mean, it, it would it would make an overall better average for the songs, you know, altogether. There'd be less songs right. on there I don't like, you know, maybe by the end of it, I would be wondering, like, were, were we supposed to come to some kind of conclusion with this toxic relationship? But uh, if it meant not being subjected to gently, then maybe it would have been for the better. Can I can I uh, can I can I be honest with you, bro? Well, be be as honest with me as you please. I think that this five rating you gave is a cop out, dude. I think you copped out. You, it was it was cheap, and I think that you'll regret it. Because I should have given it a ten. Not a, listen. I'm not unreal. I'm not saying you're going to give eight. It a 10, that, ten that ten. Should have given it an. I eight. know it's better than her loss, and if you gave her loss a six, it's got to be at least seven or eight. I, th- I think her I'm loss saying. is more fun. Really, bro? Yeah. But why? But what? That's how you rate albums? Is how fun it is? Then why the fuck is that Kendrick album a fucking ten out of ten? Well, no, I, I don't think that's the only way that I rate albums. You know, but I'm I'm just saying that's why I enjoy it more. That's all I'm saying. I mean, uh, man, I, I I I this is I I really don't ever. I don't see if I, if I'll ever be able to like get to you, bro. Like I don't think. Yeah, I'm don't a, you think know, honestly, you, when it comes to you, I'm a lost cause. So I would just, I would just stop worrying about that. I, dude, there's got. You know, look. Let Let's double back to what I said earlier. When it comes to my ratings, and listen, listen to me clearly, okay. Because what I'm saying is what I'm saying on a surface level. There's no other subtext or other implications other than what I am saying. When it comes to Drake records and my reviews of them, I think Drake fans, Drake fans, that's I'm only talking about Drake fans here. It, in, in terms of my reviews representing their opinions accurately, I think any review that I give, Drake fans should just add three. Just add three, and that's the act. That's the actual score for a Drake fan. So you're a certified hater boy, and this is what you do. <laughs> certified hater boy. She this said, "See you, you later, do. boy." You know, I, if anyone listening to this that is a Drake fan that liked the album or whatever, if if you think that I didn't argue good enough on some of these songs that I think are good that he doesn't think are good. Dude, I'm not even going to waste my breath arguing like this, dude. Because I know these songs are fucking good, dude. And I know you give an album a five, that means you're saying half the album's bad. Dude, half the album is not bad. Half the album is not mid. And I think that you need to go on a couple more drives and, and listen to this fucking album, bro. I'm dead ass. Okay, that's that's fair. You can feel that way. And, uh, you and know, I, I'm, dude, I'm just like a bit like a more open mind and you'll enjoy more things. Including Drake albums. Okay. Well, I'm I'm glad we had this talk. I'm glad too. I, I there was there was something else I was gonna say before. What 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 was it? Um, was it Fantano? Can you do something for me, dude? Stop trying to get a TikTok, bro. Listen, I, I don't think that I don't think that's gonna. I don't care if that goes viral on TikTok. I just want to hear you say it, dude. <laughs> Now you're getting now the byline's making sense to me, bro. All right. What are you talking listen, about? That line's not fruity. Listen. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. You um you had that that situation go down where Drake DM'd you. Yeah, what we talked about. Retrospectively looking back, right? Uh-huh. Do you like how that played out, or do you wish that went a different route i i think it played out fine so you think making up fake conversations is like the way it should have went (laughs) what what would what would you rather i have done shared his dms to the world no maybe you maybe you uh i don't know bro maybe uh have a civil conversation 
But he didn't start off the conversation civilly. Yeah, but you didn't start off your review civilly, bro. <laughs> what what do you, what do you mean? I didn't say anything about Drake's personal life or you know, and and any anything in terms of like the way he well, was coming on, at me talked, in, in the like DMs. I wasn't like, like, "Hey, you you dated a certain woman like this, so I'm gonna date. I'm gonna rate you a light one." Da 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 da. Listen, man, it's called shit talk, bro. It's called talking shit, bro. Okay, well, I mean, he shit talked, and I thought that I was well within my right to react to that, however I wanted to, which was making up a silly conversation where he gave me a cookie recipe. Like, like I'm just imagining you in your, in the room and you've like, you've like a whiteboard of like different. Okay. Like maybe you're like weighing the pros and cons of different ways to go about. Like, that's what I thought you were doing. That's not inaccurate, but it's all just happening in my head. I don't have a whiteboard. Okay. So let me ask you this then. What was another way that you were going to go about that if it wasn't a cookie recipe? I thought it was going to be either a cookie recipe or <laughs> <clears throat> um, my plan was to either do cookie recipe or mm -hmm. him DMing me asking for dating advice. <laughs> See, that would have been funny and actually unbelievable. The cookie thing seemed like it'd be like a weird troll, so it seemed kind of real. No, I, I I know that was part of the reason that I think we went with the cookie recipe. Oh, dude, you're sick. Yeah, you're demented. You're <laughs> fucking demented, bro. You're actually sick in the fucking head. Dude, that's actually crazy, bro. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that because that's been on my mind. <laughs> no, honestly, I think if I did it the other way, you still would have believed it. We'd still be having the same conversation. Okay. Oh, my God, bro. I don't want the recipe. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good recipe. Some people have made it. Okay. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, Listen, come on. Are, gonna, are, 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 are you gonna are you are you gonna fucking say the rich flex line or not? I'm I'm not gonna say it right now, but I got you a gift. I need you to send me an address to send it to. Cause I got you something. You got me something? Something that you're gonna enjoy. Is it a is it a is it a Drake shirt? No, it's not no no. No. Okay. Is it a cookie recipe? No, but just promise me at some point when it does come, whether you're streaming a video, whatever, just show like what you got. Okay. Is it is it that is it another one of those nice green bags I saw on camera earlier that you had? How dare you, bro? I liked that bag. Is it going to come in that bag? No, but you'll see. You'll see, dude. Don't spoil. You'll see. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'll let you know. All, All right. Bro. Well, listen, you're the best. I'm glad we could have this conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, in a, in a, yeah. In a weird way, same, bro. You keep saying it's weird, but it's like completely not weird. Like we, we get along, we have a good rapport. There's a bit of sexual tension there. It's good. It's fine. See, I knew the fucking byline. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs>